Hi everyone. In this video, I will cover all options related to creating your own custom statistics in Flopzilla Pro. When you have entered a flop in Flopzilla Pro, then the list of available statistics will be displayed here. Now you may feel that you want to add an additional statistic to this list of combo draws. For example, let's say that you want to add a combo draw, flush draw plus bottom pair. For this, click on the Customize icon. In this menu, we have a list of the made hands, and below that, a list of the draws. To the left, we have the current list of combo draws, and to the right, a set of operators, and, or, not, and suits. To create the statistic, flush draw and bottom pair, we will combine the statistic, flush draw, with bottom pair, by using the AND operator. I will drag flush draw and bottom pair into its fields, And now, click on the Save icon to add a new custom statistic to the list of combo draws. And if we leave the menu, our new stat has now been added at the bottom of the list of statistics. And that is all that's involved in creating your own custom statistic. Now for the moment this stat has just been added temporarily, if I close Flopzilla, and open it again. Then the stat will no longer be there. Let me just add it again. If you want to store your custom stats so that they remain stored in the settings for Flopzilla, then go to the Options menu. And click on Store Current Filter Settings as Default. Now there are several options here that let you set exactly which settings you want to store. In most cases you'll just want to store the visible filters. So just the ones that you just altered. And if you now accept. And restart. then you'll find that your custom statistic will now always be available in the list of statistics. One slight problem here is that the name for our custom statistic is a bit too large for the available space. We can fix this by setting a new name for the statistic. For this, go back to the Customize menu. And now, right-click our custom statistic. And this will allow us to give it a new name. And I will again go to the Options menu and store our new filter settings. Now the name is still a bit too large for the available space. An alternative approach would be to make the name field a bit larger. For this, go to the Options menu. Turn on Use Larger Area for Stat Names. And select a value between 0 and 100. If I select 100, then the name field will become much larger, and frankly a bit too large. I will just try 90, still too large, 50, ok, that's still a bit too much space, 30, ok, this seems about right. Now one thing that I'm not happy with yet is the placement of the new statistic. I would like it to be below the other flush draw stats. For this, go to the Customize menu. And drag and drop the statistic to the desired location in the list. After that, close the menu. Ok, the placement of the statistic has now been updated. I will also activate its filter, so that it's always on by default. And I will again use the Options icon to store these new filter settings. And if I now close Flopzilla Pro, and start it again, then the new statistic is correctly placed and turned on by default. 
Some more customization options are available in the options menu. With this option, you can also choose to display one card back to a flush draws. And with this option, you can choose to display a no flush draw statistic. Personally, I feel that the list of statistics now becomes a bit too difficult to read. However, you can make this consideration for yourself. With all these new statistics having been added, there's not really enough vertical space left. As a result, Flopsilla Pro is using a smaller font to still display everything. You can fix this by clicking on this arrow icon. And this will make the interface larger vertically. If you always want to use this larger setting for the interface, then in the options menu, select Use Large Vertical Window at Startup. And this selection for the arrow will now remain if you close Flopsilla and then start it again. I will again remove these custom settings. And I will also remove our custom flush draw plus bottom pair stat. By going to the customize menu and using Ctrl plus right click on our custom statistic. And this will delete it. Now one additional operator that we haven't discussed yet is the suits operator. This operator allows you to create a stat that filters for certain suits. For example, I will create a stat that only filters for hands with a heart in it. And if I save it, and accept, and mouse over it, then indeed this stat simply filters for hearts. So if for some reason you want to only look at specific suits, then you can use the suits operator for this. In the final part of this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to create a bit more of a complex statistic. Let's try to create a statistic that's both top pair or better, and flush draw or 8 out straight draw. For this, let's first create top pair or better. This comes down to top pair, or over pair, or two pair, or set, or straight. So for this, we'll need to use the OR operator. I will click the plus button to add some more fields to it. This operator has at most four fields, so it's straight, or set, or two pair, or over pair. There's however not enough fields to also include top pair. To solve this, I will click this arrow button, and this copies the operator to a buffer field. And the OR operator is now once again available. So it's top pair OR this operator. And I will drag the entire operator into the second field. And reduce the size of the operator to two fields by clicking the minus button. If I mouse over the operator, then we see its contents, which is top pair OR and then the second operator. So this comes down to top pair OR better. I will move it to the buffer to free up the operator again. And our second condition was flush draw or 8 out straight draw using two whole cards or 8 out straight draw using one whole card. And finally, we will use the end operator to get top pair or better and flush draw or 8 out straight draw. Let me store it. And again, use the options icon to store these custom settings as default. If you want to perform a full reset of your custom settings, then Flopzilla will most likely be installed to this directory, and your custom settings are stored in the directory slash config. In the file custom.txt. If you ever want to restore everything to default, then first close Flopzilla, and then just delete this file by left-clicking it to select it and pressing Del on your keyboard. And Flopzilla will now refer to using default settings for the filters. 
So, that's it for this video on all functionality related to creating custom stats. I hope that you enjoyed this video.